Hello, Colonial friends and family. I'm Randall Leonard, Director of Community and Global Partnerships here at Colonial Presbyterian Church. And we're so happy you're with us today as we are in our Advent series, The Songs of Christmas. The year was 1865, and a well-loved young pastor named Phillips Brooks was serving as the rector of Philadelphia's Holy Trinity Church. A ninth generation Puritan who had become an ordained Episcopalian, Reverend Brooks was considered one of America's greatest preachers. After six years of faithful service, at the age of 30, he was invited on an extended tour of the Holy Land, which was a gift from the parishioners of his church. For nearly a year, Reverend Brooks retraced the steps of Jesus and his apostles. On Sunday, December 24, 1865, he rode on horseback from Jerusalem to Bethlehem to be present at the Christmas Eve services in Constantine's ancient basilica built over the traditional site of the birth of Christ. Today we know this place as Church of the Nativity in the Palestinian city of Bethlehem. The five-hour service lasted from 10 p.m. to 3 a.m. Yes, 10 p.m. to 3 a.m., which filled Reverend Brooks with tremendous joy as he listened to hymns of praise, scripture reading, and prayer. It was truly an inspirational experience as the congregation was celebrating the Savior's birth. These vivid impressions from Christmas Eve in Bethlehem would resonate with Pastor Brooks the entirety of his ministry and his life. Returning to Philadelphia, Reverend Brooks resumed his responsibilities at Holy Trinity Church. Standing nearly six foot six inches tall and weighing 300 pounds, he had somewhat of an imposing presence around the city. Known as a man of great compassion and humility, he could often be found conferring with elderly congregants, counseling young couples, or simply sitting on the floor reading Bible stories with children from his Sunday school classes. As Christmas 1868 was approaching, Pastor Brooks desired for something special, something new to be a part of their Christmas program that year. Recalling his experience in Bethlehem three years earlier and his great love for the children of his city, Phillips Brooks was inspired to express his heart by writing five stanzas of a poem for their Christmas service. The next day, he gave his poem to the church organist, Louis Redner, and asked that he compose a simple melody that children could easily memorize and for their Christmas program, which was to be a few days later. Uninspired, Redner was struggling to complete the assignment. Suddenly, in the middle of the night, he awoke with a melody in his ear. He sat straight up in bed, jotted it down, placed the notes on his nightstand, and then promptly went back to sleep. The next morning, Redner completed the harmony and taught the new anthem to the children of their church. And that evening, for the first time in history, a group of six Sunday school teachers and 26 children sang, O Little Town of Bethlehem, in worship at Holy Trinity Church in Philadelphia. Today, more than 150 years later, O Little Town of Bethlehem continues to bless congregations and believers around the world as we celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior. Would you join me? O little town of Bethlehem, how still we see thee lie. Above thy deep and dreamless sleep, the silent stars go by. Yet in thy dark street shineth the everlasting light. The hopes, the fears of all the years are met in thee tonight. Thank you, and may God richly bless you this Advent season. <laughs> 